Zhao Lusi, rising star of the rumored Chen Kayaki in amidst event mishap and industry acclaim. Zhao Lusi and Liu Yuning's skin microdermigration sparked heated discussion. One's round face turned into a pointed face, and the other's face turned into a spirit like a mouse. After several months, Pearl Curtain and Jade Curtain starring Zhao Lusi and Liu Yuning has finally been completed. Fans of Zhao Lusi and Liu Yuning had heated discussions and exchanges on the issue of how skin microdermigration affects their actors. The heroine Zhao Lusi has created a new era of frame-by-frame -frame retouching in film and television dramas. Not only did she forcefully change her big head from a round head to a pointed face in stars, she also made the same mistake in the new drama Pearl Curtain and Jade Curtain. It can be seen from Zhao Lusi's increasingly rounded cheeks that the food of the new crew is indeed quite good. Fans of Liu Yuning said that in order to cooperate with Zhao Lusi's facial skin resurfacing, Liu Yuning almost turned into a snake face, which seriously affected Liu Yuning's original appearance and temperament. Some suspected fans of Zhao Lusi also posted that in order to cooperate with Zhao Lusi, the crew of Jade Curtain required all actors to lose weight and smooth their skin. In a recent live broadcast, Zhao Lusi has a round figure, a looming double chin, a blur chin outline, and her neck and face are almost connected together. The flesh on the face accumulates together, making the originally flat face appear larger and flatter, and the eyes are squeezed until there is only a slit left. Combined with the shape of the double ball head, the chubby Zhao Lusi really looks like a cute New Year baby. In addition, there is a big difference between Zhao Lusi's refined pictures and raw pictures. In the refined picture, she is a delicate and beautiful little princess, but in the original picture, she has become a rustic and plump girl. In the past, veteran actors had good looks and good acting skills, but today's popular actors not only have poor acting skills, but also have poor looks. According to the standards of Yuan actors in the past, it is estimated that Zhao Lusi would be too tired to play a maid, let alone a heroine. However, Zhao Lusi's fans believe that the dermigration filter is just to cover up Liu Yuning's appearance flaws, and the actor Liu Yuning has also been questioned for turning on too many dermigration filters. The last episode was completely different from the opening scene, as if they were two different people. The surrounding workers are not on the same floor. Power on Ceremony. Finale Special. Although Liu Yuning has a small face and a pointed chin, his face shape is not photogenic. With the help of lighting filters and height, he looks very sophisticated. Once captured in close-up, the flaws in his appearance become apparent. His eyes are small, his face has vertical and horizontal edges and corners, and he uses too much force when speaking his lines, always giving people the impression of a familiar middle-aged uncle. Full stop. When she and Liu Shishi starred in Chan Yunian, Liu Yuning was questioned about using too much skin. As soon as the two appeared in the same frame, Liu Shishi's lying silkworm disappeared on the spot, and the beauty in ancient costume instantly became stiff and lifeless. Underneath the mask is an even uglier mask. A classic animation picture even earned Liu Yuning the title of ugly man in ancient costume. In the entertainment industry where aesthetics have been severely downgraded, ancient puppet fairy dramas have gathered a large number of popular actors whose looks, temperament, and acting skills are not up to standard. In order to create the false prosperity of beautiful women and handsome men, the producers had to add a lot of beauty to the finished product. Filters forcefully create a sense of atmosphere, resulting in a large amount of real money flowing into the later stage, but the really important part of the plot is chaos, and in the end it is the innocent audience who bear everything. Wang Yebo's new drama starts airing. After Unknown, Wang Yebo once again plays a spy war theme. The new drama Storm Chaser, formerly known as The Wind and Waves, will be launched on the CCTV TV drama channel today. Storm Chaser is set in Shanghai in the turbulent 1930s. It tells the story of bank clerk Wei Ruele, played by Wang Yebo, who gradually gets the appreciation of senior consultant Chen Tunan, played by Wang Yang, for his outstanding work ability and grows up. In the process, he met Shen Jinzun, played by Li Ken, got to know each other, and fought together. The cast of The Wind and Waves is quite strong. Director Yao Xian Feng has directed dramas such as Tiger Mom and Catnad, Little Husband and Big Husband, while screenwriter Wang Liangping is the screenwriter of the high-scoring historical drama Ask the Kang Ming. The show has attracted much attention since the lineup was announced. When talking about casting, director Yao Xian Feng said that when he first met Wang Yibo, he was sitting in the corner of the office. He stood up immediately when we came in. He was very polite and a little shy. During the exchange, Yao Zian Feng had been observing Wang Yebo's words and deeds. After the exchange, he felt, this is him. He has the character temperament I wanted, a very clean and young boy. Facts have proved that this choice was right. Chief producer Zhang Shui revealed, Wei Ruli has a lot of scenes with long lines. 
Wang Yebo came to every scene after he had memorized his lines. All he talked about with the director on set was how to dig deeper into the character's heart. He never we would have to retake because we said the wrong lines. This kind of dedication was maintained throughout the filming of the whole drama, which was not easy and gave us a big surprise. Review. Previous issue recommended recommended. You only live once, love yourself. Reply 1988 is youth and the good old days that can never be returned to. Boss Mary Sue Literature, please stop. Respecting the audience is the password for traffic. Electronic Pickle, six TV series adapted from the original works. The End. Source, Jinayang.com. Editor, Joe Kiru. Editor, Li Rong. Reviewer, Li Zinayu. The Wind Chaser, unveiling Wang Yebo and Li Kin's spy thriller. The Wind Chaser, a highly anticipated spy thriller starring Wang Yebo and Li Kin, has reached completion and is slated to air on March 21st. Despite initial concerns from some netizens about Yebo's limited roles and his status as a supporting character, the film's crew has addressed these apprehensions head-on. In a lengthy press release, they highlighted the positive reviews garnered during pre-screenings and emphasized Yebo's pivotal role, aiming to build anticipation among audiences. At the forefront of expectations stands Vuong Not Bok, touted as the film's shining star. With a genre deeply rooted in espionage, The Wind Chaser aligns with CCTV's traditional forte. Coupled with the talents of Lai Kam and Vuong Duong, the film's success hinges on Not Bok's performance. Should he deliver as anticipated, the movie's ratings are poised to skyrocket. The stage is set for The Wind Chaser to captivate audiences with its thrilling narrative and stellar cast. As the countdown to its release begins, anticipation runs high for what promises to be a gripping cinematic experience. After Zhao Liang's highly anticipated drama Travel with Fang debuted, the viewership data soared, boasting a remarkable opening with a threefold increase. The show quickly gained traction, with the protagonist Goose's popularity on the site surpassing 28,000 and the CVB, cost per thousand impressions, exceeding 0.5, indicating a substantial market pull. Zhao Liang's involvement in the project as an investor undoubtedly contributed to its success, leveraging her massive fanbase and nationwide popularity. Additionally, the production team spared no effort in ensuring the show's quality, evident from the abundance of S-plus cards and substantial financial investments poured into the project. However, the ultimate fate of the series lies in the hands of the director and screenwriter, whose creative decisions will determine the trajectory of the plot moving forward. Meanwhile, Yang Zi's interactions with fans took a sour turn as marketing accounts sparked animosity among followers. Tensions escalated when two fans engaged in a heated dispute, dredging up past controversies surrounding the drama King Ai and ZHI. While casual observers may view these exchanges with detachment, for dedicated fans, the focus remains squarely on the content of the show rather than its statistical performance. As anticipation mounts for the second season of Sauvignon Blanc, audiences may have to wait until the summer holidays for its much-anticipated release.